Remember those monster stories you heard as a kid? Well, all those stories were true. And they all live right here, in this godforsaken city. Lisbon, Portugal. A place where nightmares crawl, just outside the corner of your eyes. Where the air is tense with the resounding sound of footsteps that belong to no one. Where every shadow quivers with eyes unseen by... Dog, who are you talking to? What? Pizza boy, don't interrupt my intro! Don't you think we have more pressing matters at hand? Oh yeah. And how did we get into this mess? I seriously have no idea. Tell it to me as if I were five years old. Well... It was a normal day at the office when someone knocked on the door. The office? Boring! Start with a car chase. A car what? Fine. Let's start with a car chase. Dog, I can't believe you pulled my head off. Again! It's not my fault. I confused you with another gargoyle. You all look alike. That's racist. Guys, why don't we concentrate on the driving? You know, keep our eyes on the road? Don't tell me how to do my job, pizza boy. If we don't stop those gargoyles, They'll finish the ritual, and then the whole world will be engulfed by the flames of some ancient demon. Um, not that all you demons are bad, mind you. Right, Pazul? It's all your fault, Yuriko. If you hadn't blown our cover, none of this would have happened. You should have kept delivering pizzas. My job was easier without you poking around. Says the werewolf who could have turned and finished the coven right there. Shut up, pizza boy. That plan lacks elegance. Look, dog. I'm a little bit tired of being the butt of your jokes and your personal scapegoat. The butt of the jokes? That's our own little gargoyle's place. Thanks, guys. You always make me feel like an important part of this team. I feel even more uncomfortable than that 6,000-year-old demon trapped inside a little girl's body. Okay, Pizza Boy, I think we got him. Prove you're not completely useless and finish them off. Light that cocktail I left on the back seat and blow him up. I'm on it, dog. It's on! Yeah, that should do it! I'm Dog Mendoza, cockatrice turds. And you are all guilty of breaking the code. Have you cleaned the waste paper basket yet, pizza boy? So much for the glamour of working as an occult detective's intern. I don't think that's the sound an empty basket makes. Do what I ask you or I'll reduce your salary. What salary? Exactly. There's someone at the door. If it's for the rent again, just say no hablo portugues until they leave. It looks like a young woman. Maybe it's a case. A girl? Quickly, Hazul, Gargoyle, everyone to their places. Clean the crumbs off the sofa. Put those pizza boxes in the trash can. We have work to do. Look as cool as possible. But not cooler than me, of course. Hi, my name is Nadia. Which of you is Doc Mendoza? That would be me, honey. 
And what brings such a delicate flower as yourself to a humble place like this? I read that you're a detective of the occult, and I think I might be needing your services. Tell little doggy what's the problem. A poltergeist? Zombies? Vampires? Gargoyles searching through your dumpster? I'm scared. I'm not really sure of what I know. Do you believe a curse can bring people back from the dead? Maybe you can help me figure out how deep this goes and how dangerous it is. That kind of job has our name written all over it. Count us in. Uh, hmm. We would like to ask you some questions first before we can take the case. Are you in some kind of danger? I don't think so. I'm scared, but I still don't know if I'm in some kind of danger. Who or what are you scared of? Something happened to me. I can't really put it into words, but I might be in need of some help. What kind of job is it? A stakeout? Personal protection? You want an exorcism? That's overwhelming. Maybe I came to the wrong place. I don't know if a detective is really what I need. What? No, Pizza Boy, you and your boring questions. Don't ruin this for me. I mean us. It's business. Meeting a new client is almost like interrogation. You not only need to know why they landed at your doorstep, but also everything that would help your case. Sometimes there are details people hide without knowing it. Sometimes they just don't dare to tell the whole truth. I'll try my best with this new potential client, although I think Dog will ruin it for me. Remember, it's all about asking the right question and having the right reaction to their answers. This will squeeze the truth out of them. Now I have to retrace those questions to see how much information I can get out of them. Who or what are you scared of? Something happened to me. I can't really put it into words, but I might be in need of some help. Do you think something can come back from the dead? Sure. If you think this is what it is, we're with you 100%. Don't patronize me. I'm not five. That was not the right follow-up. Are you in some kind of danger? I don't think so. I'm scared, but I still don't know if I'm in some kind of danger. I mean, the thing that's haunting me hasn't done me any harm yet. If you're not in danger, why are you here? Like I said, I'm scared. You don't know who's behind all this. Besides, I don't think I'm the one in danger. Its threat extends far beyond me. Who is in danger? I don't know. I think many people are in danger, but I don't know exactly who. Can you name at least one? Knowing what I know, it could be anyone. Oh, pizza boy. You clearly don't know how to treat a girl. And that's why you'll die alone. I have a girlfriend. Her name is Anna. Sure you do. Sure you do. So, someone else is in danger. If Dog wouldn't have interrupted, we would have found out who. Who or what are you scared of? Something happened to me. I can't really put it into words. But I might be in need of some help. Do you think something can come back from the dead? Please tell me it's not zombies. That's so cliché these days. What about ghosts? A vengeful ghost. Would that pique your interest? Ghost? You mean like a white sheet and shackles? No. More like a living horror hiding behind a mask, piercing the night with her shrilling voice. In our trade, Things behind a mask are not supernatural. They're mostly janitors, water slide attendants, or nuns. You won't be laughing when the bodies start to pile up and they return. I don't think any of us is safe with her around. Maybe you're not the right people for this job. Now, now, girl, don't be scared by that guy. He's not very bright, but he means no disrespect. I'm the perfect man for the job, you know? No matter what the job is, I created the Code, a set of rules that keeps the paranormal and human world apart. 
So, you know, I have experience, if you know what I mean. So, we're dealing with a ghost, a female ghost at that. But who's the they she brought up? I wish Dog would have just let me conduct the interview. What kind of job is it? A stakeout? Personal protection? You want an exorcism? That's overwhelming. Maybe I came to the wrong place. I don't know if a detective is really what I need. I mean, do you even know how to break a curse? Do you even deal with those things? Look, whatever it is, I'm sure we'll find a way around it. We're here to help. But for that, we need you to speak up and tell us what happened. I think I'm involved in some kind of gypsy curse. <laughs> gypsy curses. There's no such thing. Dog. <clears throat> I, I mean, sure. We break everything. Curses, artifacts, covenants. If you can make it, we can break it. I see you don't believe me. But it's happening. I know what I heard. I've seen the gypsy curse with my own eyes. As a matter of fact, I think I've been seeing it all my life, but only now I came to realize what was happening. And it's dangerous. I don't feel safe anymore. No, of course we believe you. Like our motto says, satisfaction guaranteed. Take it from the Alpha Dog himself. So, she believes there's a gypsy curse involved, and she heard it from someone else. That's something, at least. Well, let's see what we learned so far. There is a ghost that might be after someone. And this ghost might be related to a gypsy curse. I'm sorry, but this is too vague. I don't know if we can make up a case out of this. I'm sorry, but I'm not the one being judged here. I want to see if you are worthy of my trust. Your job is to dig up what happened not only for me, but for everyone involved. As for the rest, what comes around goes around. What do you mean? Was that a threat? Well, I heard enough. We're taking your case, lovely lady. Let's discuss the details over dinner. Privately. Dog, I think she just threatened me. Nonsense, Yuriko. I will take her out for dinner now, and maybe to a movie to release stress. And who knows, we might even end up stopping for ice cream. Remember, boy, don't do a gypsy wrong, or everything you love will rot inside of you. <laughs> she got you, see? She's a blast. Don't wait up for us. Hey, this is awfully quiet and peaceful. It feels kind of nice. I wonder what's missing. I should probably pick up that phone. I should pick up that phone. I should pick up that phone. Doc Mendoza, Paranormal Investigator Office. How may I help you? Eureka, I need your help. Now, it's an emergency. Dog, long time no see. How are you? This is no time for formalities, pizza boy. Come and help me. I'm at Motel Romero. Be quick and bring Pazul. There's a goddamn gypsy curse in place. Okay, everyone. We're heading to Motel Romero. It seems like Dog got himself in some kind of trouble. Wait here. I'm gonna give Dog a hand.
it's locked from the inside. And no, I can't climb the fence. I might scratch the jacket and then lose my inventory. I take it you came here for the fat man? Yeah. Has he broken anything yet? No, he's quite still. You can see it for yourself. He's in front of the telly. I should have seen that coming. So there you are. What happened to you? I'm in a cage, pizza boy. I thought you were smart enough to notice that. You could transform into a werewolf and free yourself. Why haven't you? I'm busy contemplating all the wrong decisions of my life. Like hiring you. Besides, the cage is made of solid silver. Werewolves are deadly allergic to silver. So, you want me to lift the cage? Oh. I called you because Candle Cove is on, and I can't turn the TV. But you could actually do that, yes. I wasn't expecting you to be of any help. But maybe you can free me, and then I can go upstairs. There is a suspect from my case hiding in there. After locking me in this cage, I believe we need to meet eye to eye. <sighs> All right. One-eyed and bombed cat. Ugliness preserved for posterity. Ugh! This will leave tons of hair inside my jacket. It'll itch like hell. He's twice my size, maybe more. Now I can finally realize my childhood dream of having a toy truck. Man, I can't wait to take this bad boy for a spin at the closest sandbox. I'll be king and all the other children will want to play with me. This is my chance of becoming popular. Or I can just use it to help my lazy boss out. No way I'm picking that up. An array of different suits, maybe for costume parties? I'm very comfortable with my jacket. It not only looks cool, but it has a lot of space in its inner pockets. No way I'm picking that up. How much more do I have to wait until you get that fat man out of the cage? I was thinking about letting him stay there. Maybe you can feed him, and we can make him an attraction, like a zoo! I see you lack a sense of humor. In this particular subject, I do. I'm not watching TV during an investigation. That's dog's thing.
So, what should I do? How do I free you? You really are new to this, aren't you? No natural talents at all. See that rope on top of the cage? That's your visual cue. Find a way upstairs and see what you can do. Not that I'm hoping for a lot. With that attitude, I just might leave you there, dog. Never mind. Hey, doggy. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs> Allow me to translate, pizza boy. I know how to speak dog. He says that you should consider your next step, for it might be your last. <laughs> he is the spawn of Cerberus, a true demon incarnate. And he will slit you open and feast on your guts. <laughs> oh my gosh! You hellish fiend! Is that the same mouth you use to lick your privates? What the Hound said is just too horrible to translate. Believe me, I'm doing you a favor, Yuriko. Okay. I may have to find another way around it. He hates the cat at least as much as me. <laughs> Being so low in the pecking order just depresses me. Hey, doggy, do you like this truck? He's saying you, cats, and cars are the things he despises the most. If he could find a way to shove all of you up your own... Oh. Oh, that hound is not only disgusting, it is physically impossible. I guess I need to find another way to make this attractive to him. This is something I should have drawn in elementary school. Behold, that cat mobile, patent pending. Well, that took care of that. Now I should go upstairs and find a way to free dog. What would I give for a nice, warm bath? But not in this tub. The shower head is so low, it seems as if it was made for dwarves. Note to self, ask dog if dwarves are a real thing. What would I give for a nice, warm bath? But not in this tub. The sh Note to self, ask dog It looks so comfy. I can feel its calling. But no, I must resist. I have a quest at hand. It looks so comfy. But no, I... The shelf is full of cleaning products and makeup. Strangely, tons and tons of makeup. There's a lot of makeup on the shelf. But I don't feel like using it. I'm digging how I look right now, in unfiltered HD. Yuck! Imagine licking that. It 
It's locked. What the? A dead body? This must be Dog's suspect. Does that mean that he actually has a case? I thought he was on a wild goose chase. Things got real all of a sudden. I need to get Doug up here right now. I don't know who he is, but he's dead all right. Chubby doesn't begin to cover the proportions of this dead body. This must have something to do with Doc's investigation. And I thought he got himself in trouble fooling around. Pizza boy, you lifted the cage. I mean, it took you more time than it should, but you did it. Hey, wait, who are you? It's you, but, but it can't be. You're dead. What's going on? Can you hear me? No, no, no. The curse is real. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Don't you dare. Hey, dog, what's happening down there? Are you all right? Dog? Damn it, the door's closed. I'm trapped. I need to get out of here and help him! The weight is connected to the rope that holds the cage downstairs. Maybe I can use the weight of the rope. So much for preserving the crime scene. Oops! Sorry, doggy. I'm not sorry. I guess I could cushion my fall if I fell over the body. That fell over that devilish hound. Okay, here goes nothing. 